Greetings and salutations, YouTube and the internet. Uh, yes, it's been a while. <laughs> um, I, I figured I can't stay quiet on this any longer because, well, things are starting to, uh, to get worse. So a few weeks ago, Project Veritas, James O'Keefe comes out with his Pinterest story, complete with a testimonial from an insider. Okay, uh, they talk about how they are silencing conservative voices. Okay, not unexpected, but it is what it is. So then, this past week, he comes out with another video, and that's for YouTube and Google, and how they're deliberately silencing conservative voices. And then they go ahead and they remove it. They remove the video, complete with the emails and the hidden video. The, 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 the person who appeared on camera, a hidden camera obviously, uh, issued some kind of statement like it was recorded without her consent, as if that makes a difference. There are states where there are one-party consent laws. No big deal. So, it happened, and Google removed it. Okay? Uh, <laughs> and now, Senator Ted Cruz has stepped in, and he took the video and posted it on his channel. And the question is, are they going to remove it from Senator Cruz's channel? The, should be interesting. But it seems that with all the brain power and knowledge and thinking over at Google, that they might want to get a refund on some of their uh, college tuition. See, it seems that they didn't learn anything about history. I'm just going to go to my little web page here. Uh, yeah. Harken you back to a little case, a court case from the year 1733. It was the basis for freedom of the press, which we have in the First Amendment, which is so dear to us. It's the John Peter Zenger trial. Um, he published a weekly newspaper called the New York Weekly Journal. Okay. Now, I, to be honest, I didn't learn about this in high school or college or grad school either. It, it is what it is. I actually learned about this the first time I went for jury duty. There was a guy. This was in the summer of 1998. I turned out he, he was a, a judge. He was, turned out to be one of the greatest uh, professors I ever learned from. Anyway, this judge, a man by the name of Scarpino, he goes ahead and sort of to awaken the spirit of jury duty, uh, tells the story of John Peter Zenger about how the New York governor, now remember in those days it, was, it wasn't an elected governor, it was an appointed governor from a foreign power. We were still colonies in those days. Good 40 plus years before the writing of the Declaration of Independence. Anyway. He goes on and he tells a story, and he shows how, in, in regards to the John Peter Zenger trial, the, the, the governor was just, he was so hellbent. How dare this publisher publish unflattering things about me? And stories of corruption, and goes on and on. You can... Uh, look it up for yourself. Uh, Zenger, Z-E-N-G-E-R. And the jury deliberated for a whopping 10 minutes before they came back with a non-guilty verdict. And mind you, this is after the jury had been replaced by a jury of Zenger's peers, as opposed to individuals who were personally friendly with the governor. In fact, it was... Uh, the, the, the attorney 
uh, Hamilton. Andrew Hamilton was the guy who defended Zenger. And this sort of, in the end, it got remembered. It's a very important case, and it got baked into the First Amendment, which is why, to this day, we have freedom of the press. Now, here's where things get kind of kooky, because freedom of the press is freedom from government obstruction of the press. Okay? But here we have Google. They're a private company, though they have done work for the government, and they've done work for the governments of foreign nations as well. Regardless, we've got this situation where a private company is removing someone's ability to speak unilaterally. Okay? There's a copyright claim. Ugh. Now, Project Veritas and James O'Keefe, they have published stories like this in the past. They're the ones who took down Acorn and you know, now they're focusing on on big tech. And Big Tech, in that video, wants to manipulate United States elections so that 2016 doesn't happen again. They're virulently anti-Trump. Just, you know, in the comments section, I invite you to comment. When in history has censorship ever, A, worked, or B, been a good idea? Just, you know, I'm reminded of in 1992, yes, I'm old, okay? In 1992, when Jay Leno had Hugh Grant on after he was arrested for uh, soliciting a prostitute, guy sits down, Jay Leno leans over and he goes, what the hell were you thinking? So to Google, to the executives who decided to remove this, and in the process of removing it, causing even more attention to be drawn to it. What the hell were they thinking? Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you in the future. Unless, of course, this video also gets removed.